everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. It's episode number two and the first one where we actually get to play the game because in the first episode I mostly uh, spent my time creating my character, not just the way she looks like but also her stats and parts of her personality. But now we're here in the open world and it's a big one from the looks of it. So I guess I will head out and uh, start a few quests and explore a little bit. Now, in between episodes, I have been looking at my little menu thingy here and I think I have some vague idea what all of that is. Um, I have a bunch of different armors already. I picked this one for now. I mean, some of them have like special effects, but others have more... Um, armor or whatever so I don't know I don't think it really matters at the moment which I pick here I really have to uh, figure out which way I want to go with my character but yeah we also have like um, a tab for quests um, here in this uh, menu and I believe that most of them are actually like DLC quests I got them at the beginning of the game but I think it's not something that I really need to do at the moment. The two quests that are actually important for me are back in the saddle, talk to Sunny Smiles in the Prospector Saloon, and they went that away, um, which is about finding the person who shot me in the face. So I guess I will start with this one, back in the saddle, because I think she can help me find my way around here. Um, I do have a map of sorts, although it doesn't really tell me much at the moment. I guess I still have to explore it. So yeah, let's just head out and um, I don't know, let's look around a little bit. I remember when I left the building for the first time I saw some robot thingy driving around here. Maybe I can find it again. I mean, I see some people who seem to be farmers and they are farming very big um, cattle. I have no idea what that is. I'm not sure if I can just talk to anyone. Good Spring Settler. If you're looking for supplies, Chet over at the general store can help you out. Right, someone mentioned the general store. Oh, there it is. That's the robot thingy that I saw earlier. You take a sip from... What was it? Howdy, partner! Oh. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Thanks for digging me out of that grave. Oh, that's the robot that uh, saved me. He just has like a face on his monitor. Well, that's interesting. Um, yeah, sure. I guess it's only polite to uh, thank him for that. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. <laughs> and he talks like a cowboy. Um, yeah, how did you find me anyway? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were, so I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Well, I'm glad that uh, he has subtitles. Um, do you know those who attacked me? Yeah, that would be a good question. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Okay, so I have to talk to a few people around here. So, yeah, um, tell me more about yourself. How did you end up here? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, That's odd indeed. It's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. So, did these robots already exist pre-apocalypse, or is this some kind of invention that happened afterwards? I have no idea. Yeah, I've never seen a robot like you before. That's actually very true. <laughs> I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. 
If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor hmm. says howdy. 2060B. Is this the date you were um, produced? Um, okay, well, I guess that's all. Thanks a lot. Happy trails! Uh-huh. Victor. What a weird fella. And yeah, look at look at these creatures. Young Bighorner. Or well, Bighorner is the right name for them. They have very big horns. <sighs> okay, um, yeah, I've talked to the robot guy. Now, um, let's see, how does this ma map function? Good Springs Home. Doc Mitchell's house. Okay, that's where I came from. And there's a marker over here. I'm not sure um, if this is my quest. It probably is. Okay. And I have like a compass thingy in my lower left. So if I see this correctly, my quest is vaguely in this direction. Ooh, but Prospector Saloon, yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Look at these bikes. How difficult is it to get gasoline in this world, I wonder. Anyway, I guess I'm just going to go inside the saloon and... See if I can talk to some people. Open 24 hours. Nice. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Okay, well, <laughs> that's good to know. Anyway, that's just the person I'm looking for. Sunny Smiles. Um, Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. I need to go to Prim. Can you suggest a route? I'm a little short on caps. I don't suppose there's any work available. What do you do around here? Um, yeah, um, maybe first of all I need to learn how to survive. Let's start with that. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay. But, um, I could, I could talk to you more. There were other questions I could Everything ask. Everything alright? The flashing arrow on your compass shows the location of your objective. Yeah, I figured that out already. Um, yeah, can I ask you some questions? Well, let's just finish this first, all right? Then we could talk. Preferably oh. somewhere where I can get a stiff drink and Cheyenne can keep cool. Okay, so apparently I gotta learn to survive first and then I can uh, actually talk to her. Okay, well, but I don't have to do this right now. Oh, um... Apparently all of this stuff is forbidden to take, steal, fixing things. I mean, no one is actually looking, right? You've lost karma! Oh, oh! <laughs> apparently, apparently stealing stuff is bad, even if no one sees it. I mean, I've been thinking Skyrim, so in Skyrim, as long as nobody's looking, you can just take whatever you like. But no, it's not quite as simple in this game, apparently. Oh, it's already activated. Let's see. Alright, well, in that case, I have to be very particular about the stuff that I steal. I'm not even sure what I stole. It was some kind of book. But I mean... It was not just one of these ruined books, it actually had a title, so... Hey! Might be useful. Easy Pete! Okay, um... Can I Howdy. talk to you? What can Easy Pete do for you? I don't know, um... I can ask a few questions. Do you know anything about the people who attacked me? Yeah, that would be good to know. The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got hmm. cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Well, I figured that much, but thank you. Why are you called Easy Beat? Yep, yeah, that's a good question, too. Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. 
What's the end here? Oh, I have a question about this too. Okay. You were a prospector digging for gold and silver. No, no. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call <laughs> it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Yeah, I can see that. You know, technology being more valuable than gold and silver these days. Did you ever find anything good while prospecting? Nope. <laughs> Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. But got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Okay, well, that's sad. So yeah, tell me about the NCR. What exactly are they and what's wrong with them? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still... The NCR keeps the Legion away. Oh, I think it's um, this um, nation they mentioned in the prologue cutscene, New California Republic, right? Okay, I see. Um, yeah, tell me about the Legion. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. <laughs> Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, <laughs> but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Okay. Well, if you want to pronounce it the proper classical Latin way, it is indeed Kaiser. So, there's that. Um, yeah, tell me about Hoover Dam. The dam powers a lot of New Vegas. And then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Okay, I can see why it's important. It seems to be like a pretty obvious question. I mean, it produces energy, so that's why it is important. What do you use the big horners for? I guess the stuff that you use cattle for, like meat, maybe milk. Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it <laughs> off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Okay, not sure if I want to do that, at least at the moment. And yeah, what can you tell me about the robot guy? The machine? Harmless, no matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Well, and apparently it has some damaged memory because it can't remember what it did like a few years ago. <laughs> anyway, that's a lot of useful information, so thanks. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Okay. Yeah, I do have a few guns. Um, I haven't really decided what I want to use as my go-to weapon. Hey there. Well, you're not entertaining much, huh? Oh! <laughs> that door didn't open the way I expected. Alright, this is just some stuff. Um, yeah, I guess I have looked at everything in here, and since I can't really steal anything without losing karma, I guess I'm just leaving again. So, let's uh, try to find um, Sunny again. Oh, what is this over here? A workbench. Oh, this is for, like, crafting stuff. Made at workbench, skill requirement. Well, <laughs> that shouldn't be much of a problem. I have a lot of signs. Oh, but there's stuff that requires quite a bit more signs than that, so. I still need to learn more. Also, I'm 
lacking ingredients for most of these recipes so I don't think I really need to craft anything at the moment oh and this is for ammo that's a lot of different ammo and I mean most of this is presumably for normal guns but I'm better skilled for energy weapons so I think I can do this here yeah energy cells I think this is for my energy weapons so that actually works quite well since I have a lot of science and a lot of skill for energy weapons so I can craft my own cells I guess I don't know I hope the game will explain this stuff to me too okay so my quest marker is in this direction ah there she is now see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there take this and try to hit a couple of them to fire your weapon push mouse one. Oh, you just gave me a gun okay um I can see the bottles so I equip my weapon I can apparently aim sort of well that didn't hit at all that's the right idea look down the site okay to aim push mouse two. this increases your accuracy well not a lot but apparently I need to aim more at, at like the neck of the bottle that seems to be better place to shoot Start crouching down and there staying still It'll help your aim. To sneak or crouch, push left control. Ah, okay. Detected. Who detected me? Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Um, okay, I'm in and tutorial. I think I've learned enough. No, I need to learn a lot more. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Okay, um, I'm going to follow you. And yeah, I guess I'm going to use this gun now since that's what she gave me. I mean, I may have to use some normal guns at some point anyway, if I don't have like enough energy cells or whatnot. I have no idea how rare the ammo for the different weapon types is in this game. But I'm also pretty good at melee, so if everything else fails, you take a sip from your trusty vault canteen. What does that mean? I have no idea. Oh, this is quite a long way. But I'm already going as fast as I can. I can run and walk and this is basically <laughs> the run option. And you just totally climb over that bush. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Geckos? Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay. So we're hunting geckos. Well, how difficult can that be? I mean, they're just geckos. Detected. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. Kill the geckos at the well. Um, alright. To enter vets, push V. No idea what that means. Um, I'm seeing some movement. Are these geckos? <laughs> They're not like any geckos I've ever seen in my life. Caution. Okay. All right, well, um, Yes, that worked. Ooh, now the thing is storming me. <laughs> they are really fast. Didn't expect that. 
Can I loot them? Oh, yes, I can. Of course, they have gecko meat and hide. And I suppose I don't have to crouch anymore. Where's the other one? I know I killed... Oh, it's over here. I will take all of your stuff. Activate water valve. Oh, I can drink water. All right, well. Um, anyway, I think I just go back and talk to Sunny again, right? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> to enter vets, push VA. Yeah, I entered vets, apparently. Welcome to the Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, or VETS. VETS displays a chance you will hit along with a condition of each body part. Mouse 1, attack your target. Mouse 2, cancel an attack. E, accept your actions. Left click on the left or right arrows to switch to a new target. The number of attacks you can make is limited by your action points. Okay. Oh. I could attack her now, which I do not want, obviously. <laughs> um... Yeah, let's just exit out of here. So apparently this is some some sort of method to target more precisely. All right. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Um, yes, I would like to do that. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Okay, so we gotta kill more geckos. Guess I can do that, and maybe I should try to use that vets. I totally killed those geckos without using it. But just in order to learn it. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, I guess a torso would be the biggest percentage okay let's do it Duh. well yeah you're a pretty good shot too where are you running to don't you want to loot the geckos I want to loot the geckos, but maybe I should be following her. I guess she's fighting more geckos somewhere. Oh no, oh no, where did you go to? I kind of see her on my compass. But I'm just not entirely sure. Oh, there she is. Okay, have you found more geckos? Ah. Oh yeah, she has. Oh well, there's someone who is not a gecko. <laughs> Hi, I'm sorry, did I shoot you? Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Reputation. You have established a reputation within a group of people in the wasteland. Whether that reputation is good or bad, you're finally somebody and people associated with that group will start to react to what you've done. There are many different factions in the wasteland and you can develop a distinct reputation with each one. As you perform actions that benefit a group, you will gain fame. If you perform actions that harm a group, you will gain infamy. Oh, well, that makes sense. Your reputation with any given group is a measure of the combined total of fame and infamy that you have earned. The benefits and drawbacks of any given reputation depend on the group itself. You may receive discounts with merchants, provoke attacks from hired ducks, or simply be treated differently. All right. Accepted. Folks have come to accept you for your help for nature. 
<laughs> to be fair, I didn't really kill a lot of these geckos. Most of the most of it was sunny, but fair enough. All right. Well, I'm going to loot these geckos. And yeah, now I'm supposed to talk to her again and get my reward. I guess drinking water would give me more health, but I'm full on health, so this doesn't really change anything. Um, sure, I'll take that stuff. Oh, there's another gecko. I mean, I might be able to sell the meat if I don't want to use it myself. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Yes, but why did you give me bottle caps? Is this some money in this world? Why would you pick bottle caps as money? This is so weird. But sure, uh, tell me about it. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Okay. Um, but can I actually Everything talk to you right? now? Well, let's just finish this first, all right? Okay. Then we could talk. Preferably somewhere where I can get a stiff drink and Cheyenne can keep cool. So first I gotta finish this whole tutorial quest and then I can talk to her about other stuff. Um, well, let's see. Um, well, uh, <laughs> this map is going to take some getting used to. Good Springs Source. Good Springs, accepted. Good Springs Cemetery. Okay, so apparently that's where I have to go. And the other quest is over here. And what is this supposed to be? Uh, it's kind of confusing. Find a Brock Flower and a Zander Root. Right. So, I guess I'm going to put a marker on the closest objective, which would be this one. Also, um, how much ammo do I actually have? I mean, I'm currently using the Varmint Rifle, which uses 5.56mm bullets. 2 of 93. Okay, but I do have uh, quite a bit of ammo for this gun. So maybe I'm going to keep it, especially if I'm just fighting smaller critters like geckos. Apparently I can kill them easily with this gun. So I don't really have to use my energy weapons or whatever. So, um, I guess I can't talk to her again. Thank you. No, she's just a random NPC without special dialogue. I wonder if... I mean, it says value one, so um, I guess I can make some money off of it, but it's not exactly profitable. <laughs> um, yeah, but I am moving in the right direction. I already looted this gecko. Hey. Hey, powder ganger. Damn, running low on smokes again. <laughs> Any lawman hey that comes after me won't have it easy. Who are you? What's a powder ganger? I mean, this guy is armed. I'm not sure if I want to mess with him. Um, hang on a second. <laughs> uh, where exactly am I in relation? Okay, I'm still, I'm still moving towards it. I'm I'm not a big fan of these compass navigation methods. <laughs> I always get lost if I try to do that. But it 
must be somewhere around here, right? Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty much looking right at it. Oh, it's him again. Ooh. The red uh, stripe on my compass is probably an enemy, right? Actually, quite a few of them. Um, okay, but they are more or less exactly where I need to go for my quest. Figures. They already detected me, even though I'm crouching. Oh, it's just some little insect. A giant mantis nymph. Okay, fair enough. It's actually pretty big for a damn insect. Oh, no, no, I have to reload. Holy hell. Um, why can't I shoot the damn insect? There we go. Ah, uh, stupid mantis nymph. Oh, it just exploded. Is it just something that it does? Well, I don't think it really hurt me a lot, but I guess it was a little bit too close to be shot with a rifle. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't seem that there's more of them, so let's just look around. Um. Yeah, the uh, thing is supposed to be right here. I'm not sure if I'm looking for the root or the flower at the moment. Ah, that's it. The root. I'm just going to take them all. Why not? Um, we have a building here. if I want to have a look inside. Well, I think I would like to um, focus on my tutorial quest at the moment and I can do some explorations later, I'm sure. So, next stop is Cemetery. Uh, let's put our marker on it. Also, is there any way for me to holster my weapon? Not sure if there is. I guess I'm just going to carry my weapon with me now. I mean, I suppose I could probably just unequip it, but at some point I'm going to need it anyway. Um, yeah, I am going in the right direction. So, every once in a while I see this message, I'm taking a sip. So I guess that I need to drink every now and then, and I have to make sure that I always have enough water on me. Is this what it is? Is there any way where I can see how much I need to drink? So is the huge cross over here the um, cemetery? No, it's somewhere in this direction. Oh, look at the moon. It's big. Oh, I see. I see an enemy somewhere on my compass, and now I don't see it anymore. Oh, here we go. Yep, there's definitely something alive here. Let's try to use this again. Ooh, a bark scorpion. Um, yeah, I feel I should shoot the stinger because that's the really <laughs> dangerous part of a scorpion, right? Oh, but it's still alive. <laughs> well, now it's dead. Bark scorpion poison gland. Oh yeah, this totally could have poisoned me. Nasty scorpion. And uh, I already see more enemies on my compass. But I am going in the right direction, right? Yeah, I am I'm going 
In the right directions, I guess, is over here is actually the graveyard. So, is it more scorpions? No, it's another kind of insect. A bloatfly. Again, it's just an insect, but a really big one. Interesting. All right. I think I should get a little bit closer here. Stop moving around so much. I think this one is pretty close. And here we go. They're really ugly too. Oh, my my gun is about to break down. Well, I hope it's enough to kill this one fly. There we go. So I guess I have to like repair it, right? Um, I've seen like the repair option in my menu. Um, but apparently I can't repair this one. But I have a bunch of other weapons, so I may just have to um, change to a different one. But first, um, let's uh, first of all loot the flies. Oh, is, is this a grave where I was uh, hidden after they shot me? Got some empty bottles and even more of them. Again, they do have some value, but uh, not a lot, so... Not sure if this is really useful picking up all of them. Um, anyway, I'm looking for some kind of flower. Also, it's getting very dark. Snow globe. You found a limited edition Mojave landmark snow globe. These rare pre-war artifacts are widely considered to be useless baubles, but rumor has it some collectors will pay dearly for them. Okay. So I have to find a specific collector if I want to make some money off of this pricky pear fruit. Oh, um, that's not what I wanted. I'm not sure if it's more like beneficial to play this in first person, like the shooting and aiming. Like I said, I kind of prefer third person view because it gives me more of a feeling for the character. But I wouldn't mind playing in um, first person too if it's like better for combat or whatever. Um, this is where I'm supposed to look for. Yeah, I need I need to find some kind of flower. Let's let's have a look around. Um, I guess I will take this too. This is a very small grave. Open! <laughs> Do I want to open the grave? Oh, well, I need a shovel for it. That makes sense. Um, yeah, but I'm not seeing any kind of flower anywhere around here, so... Oh, this is it. Brock flower. There we go. I found all the ingredients, so... Let's head back and talk to Sunny again. Um, I'm guessing she's back at the saloon. Oh, I can travel there by fast travel. Well, I mean, this early in the game when the distances are not that far, I can just travel on foot and see if I can find anything on my way. But at some point, um, I will surely make use of 
fast travel too. And yeah, it's it's getting really dark. So is this over here? The saloon? I think it is. Okay, let's hope she's inside here. Um Evening. Oh, this is easy Pete. And why are you standing on this thing? Okay, apparently she's not inside here. I should have checked my map first. Um let's see. Where? Where is she? She's not the marker over here. That's a little bit too far away, is it? Oh, she's back at the source. Yeah, sure. Let's let's just travel there so we can actually finish this tutorial quest. All right. Sunny. Oh, there she is. Okay, finally. So, I found the ingredients. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right now, we're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Okay. Activate campfire. Recipes, healing powder. Campfire skill requirement, nothing. Ingredients, brock flower and xander root. Sure, let's do it. How many? Sure, let's make two of them. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay, well, I, I will do that. Go and meet Trudy at the Prospector Saloon. Right, and I still want to talk to you because I know you have more questions that I can ask you. But um, I guess this doesn't have to be now. I'm just going to talk to you again once I'm back in the saloon. And maybe I can find someone to take all these tin cans of me. <laughs> Cheyenne. Are you not going to go with Sunny? Are you just going to stay here? You take a sip from your trusty Wall 13 canteen. Yeah, I guess this is kind of like drinking stuff, right? Um, I don't know if there's any indication of how much stuff actually is in my canteen. I feel this is kind of important. I feel I'm already collecting more crap than I really need, so <laughs> maybe I should stop picking up everything that I find. But yeah, um, I think this is actually a good uh, point to end the episode here. This campfire that doesn't even have any fire, but okay. And I guess in the next episode I will head back to the saloon, talk to Trudy was her name and Sunny again. And... Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think for the time being, I will just stick to my main quest. I mean, all of this is um, DLC as far as I can tell. So we are really going to continue with the uh, quest to find the person who shot us in the face, right? So yeah, um, let's call it a day as usual. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.